Hello guys, welcome to my class. Today we are going to learn about determining of the degree of indeterminacy of looped or frame structures. So let's start. Frame structure to determine the static determinacy or static indeterminacy of a frame structure we have to first cut each loop of frame structure in beam that is the horizontal mem member and count the number of unknowns that is r1 r1 and then count the total number of support reaction that is r2 determine the total number of unknowns r1 plus r2 that is r and then count the number of rigid portions or members n contained in the structure since each portion should be in equilibrium and there are three equation of static equilibrium so the number of equation for entire structure is 3n. Determine when the, the structure is statically determinate or indeterminate by comparing r to the total number of equilibrium equations. If r is equal to 3n that is statically determinate structure, if r greater than 3n it is statically indeterminate structure where r is equal to r1 plus r2 let's draw a frame structure sorry excuse my drawing Suppose it is fixed and it is roller support. In the fixed support, there is three reaction. Horizontal, vertical and moment. And in the roller, there is only vertical reaction. So the reaction is 3 and 1. First, cut the horizontal beam if I cut a beam there will be three unknown for each cut point there will be 3 and so r1 is equal to there is two cut so 3 plus 3 is equal to 6 for each cut there will be three unknown two cut so six unknown and the total number of support that is r2 support is three plus one three for fixed support one for roller support that is four so r is equal to r1 plus r2 is equal to six plus four is equal to 10 and n is the rigid portion or member so n is equal to 
here is two portion in value is two so 3 in is equal to 3 into 2 is equal to 6 so r is equal to 10 and 3 n is equal to 6 so r greater than 3 n so it is statically indeterminate structure easy let's do another example here is a frame structure it is hinge support and it is roller support for hinge support there will be two reaction and for roller support there is a one reaction let's cut a loop here for each loop the value is 3 that is r1 is equal to 3 plus 3 is equal to 6 r2 that is the reaction is 2 plus 1 is equal to 3 and the rigid portion that is n is equal to 2 so 3n is equal to 3 into 2 is equal to 6 why is 3 because each have 3 equation 3 equilibrium equation in so r is equal to r1 plus r2 is equal to 6 plus 3 is equal to 9 so r is equal to 9 and 3n is equal to 6 so r greater than 3n it is also statically in detail sorry in detail minute structure okay So this is how you determine statical determinate or indeterminacy in frame or loop structure. Let's do some homework, give you some homework. Home task. This is a frame structure this is hinge support this is roller support this is hinge support this is roller support this is hinge support this is fixed fixed and three these three supports are fixed support okay complete the task and get back to me Okay, if you have any problem, comment on the video or mail me. Okay, so thank you for watching.